Hello, hello. Now it's time to check the demo of uh, Corpse Keeper. This is a uh, dark fantasy action RPG with a really unique uh, art style. Yeah, yeah, let's see if this is any good. It looks interesting, that's for sure. The demons believe in changes. Okay. While the Golden City residents pursue eternity. The conflicts between these two parties have never come to an end, but they do have a shared desire. The souls of the humans. You are one of the demons. Of the demons' children. Loyal servants whose only purpose is to collect souls for the demon. And you are now in a country called Fabrex. The prince has defeated here, was defeated here in the political conflicts. He was already given up uh, the fight and found his inner peace. But you managed to inflame uh, him to ignite the war in this country once more. Start the war in peacetime and harvest those souls during chaos. Then offer these people some necessary guidance afterwards. You have been manipulating the cycle of human history since the very beginning. With your assistance, the prince army advanced and triumphed and recaptured the city of Lenste, which really meant a lot to him because all coronations of Fabrex up in the Grand Cathedral of Lenste. I guess this is an alternative France. Hmm. You proposed to start the coronation ceremony right away. Almost everyone was against this proposition though. The enemies were crowning Lenste and rumor had it uh, that some uh, assassins were invading the city. But the prince has fallen into frenzy, well, because of you. The coronation ceremony was held as planned. The prince knelt at the altar, but the Pope knew was nowhere to be found. You told the prince to say a special prayer to summon an angel to make him the real crown king. The prince was exhilarated by all sorts of emotions, the humiliation from the past, the glory of the moment, and the expectations for the future. His soul has reached its optimal state, which was the essential material to summon the demon. As the prince finished the last word of his prayer, the demon was formed inside him. The demon was so close to burst out from the prince's body, and right after that, the souls of everyone inside Lenste, as well as the enemies outside the city, will be sacrificed to him. Suddenly, several assassins came out of hiding. The guards fought hard to stop them, but one of them escaped and came to the prince. The prince was brutally stabbed in the heart. The demon was also severely injured. You didn't panic, not even facing such chaotic situation. On the contrary, you put up a barrier quickly to contain the wounded demon. As a matter of fact, you were not surprised to see the assassins at all. You were fully aware of every move they took. Your evocation actually matched their actions just to seize the very moment where the demon could be heard. That's right, you have betrayed the demon a long time ago. Oh my god, you are so twisted and cunning. The demon sends your hostility and used his remaining strength to create a seal for protection. Hey, it would be good if we can actually see all this with a cinematic or some sorts, but hey. To breach his seal, you needed to absorb enough powerful human souls. You were not good at combat, but could only build an army of the living dead, with bones and flesh to engage in battles and explore lands there. You've made lots of preparations to kill a demon. During years of waiting, you have secretly collected so many souls. You also have got enough power to trap this demon for a long time. Oh, we have a soul uh, crystal here. Oh, I guess this is uh, like Diablo, I guess. But your active time is limited. Now it's time to raise some hell. Okay, I guess that was the intro of this game. Now, let's uh, check the options here. Uh, mouse doesn't work. And we can only use WSD. By the way, let me see. Can we actually use the controller here? Hello? Controller? Oh, yeah. Okay, controller works. Master volume, sound effects. Let's reduce this a bit. Vibration, yeah, language. Okay, here are all the options we have in languages. Okay, decent selection. Uh, window, full screen, resolution, motion blur, blur intensity. Uh, let's reduce a bit the, the motion blur. Okay, I guess that's all the options we can change now. Let's start and see if this is any good. As you can see, it has a really unique style. Look at that. 
Give me a second. Well, it looks like an old uh, PlayStation 1 game or some sort. Yeah, really unique style. Okay, so we can blink. So the blink is instant. We don't even see any movement. Okay. What the hell? We started right away, so we summon a character. Okay, so this is one of the corpses we control and we summon him to fight the enemies. Okay, this is my dodge. Backward dash. Get close to your opponent, we roll past them and strike from behind. Oh. Aha. An imperfect party avoids physical damage, but then prevent balance damage. Oh. Okay. Firing at the right time will trigger perfect parry. The perfect parry throws the opponent off balance instead of the of the corpse. Okay. So this is like Pokemon with corpses. We throw our corpses there to fight the, our battles. I see. We failed. The stab is difficult to parry, but can be avoided completely by dodging or rolling. Ah, fail. Okay, the timing is a bit difficult to get there right, but... Okay, consume soul crystals to perform a soul strike. The soul strike has cooled down. Okay, so this is like a, my special attack. Okay, so this is like a weird fighting game. Fuck you! Okay, so that uh, thing is my balance. Okay, I see. Ah! Come on, fuck him up. This will take me some time to figure out. Oh my god, the splatter.
medium speed starts or distance plus damage 21. Okay, what the fuck? Oh, so we can increase the... Okay. Replace with new action. Oh, I guess we can upgrade my body now. Okay, flesh can be used in corpse construction and healing. Consume soul crystals, perform a soul strike. Uh, okay, we have bone of a knight. Okay. And blood can increase the initial amount of resource for each round of the blood altar. Okay. Add to the backpack. Get everything. Okay, we loot the corpse. Now let's keep going. any help with this guy okay that's it and now we're gonna summon another corpse uh, let's go with this knight motherfucker That was a... Uh... Okay, give me a second. For some reason the sound effect didn't work. Yeah, too late now. Okay, slow start, medium speed start, long distance. Slow start, middle distance. Multiple attacks, flesh damage 10. Uh, I think I like this move more. Retain original action. Now let's get everything here. What's the eyes? Can reveal hidden information when scouting the areas. Okay. Now what can we do here? This thing black cannot be selected as zero. Hmm. Increase the initial amount of resource for each round. Give them up this exploration and teleport back to Oshuari. A small amount of the items in the backpack will be lost. Okay, so let me get straight. There is a roguelite element of this. You encounter enemies, gather stuff, and then you go back when you lose or when you chose to do so. Hmm. Yeah, we start right away. There is no tutorial in this one. Skeletons are necessary material for construction corpses, but the skeleton cannot be obtained directly. Build a skeleton with five pieces of bones. Huh. Each skeleton has a number of abilities that can be activated by adding the corresponding materials. The number of abilities that can be activated depends on the depth of the memories of bones. Only one ability can be activated at first. Huh. Oh, and corpse will decay? What was that? At the end of its run, when it decay exceeds 100, the corpse will disintegrate permanently. Okay. Now, can we do anything? No injury. Oh yeah, the bones are not injured, but there is decay. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Uh 
Aha. Can you use a key to open the chest and get all the items? Uh, if you don't have a key, you can also open it by force, but we'll get fewer items. Oh yeah, let's get it by force. I guess we can use a blink to move faster. Ossuary. Okay, I guess this is my, my base of operations. Corpse will decay at the end of its run. When decay exits 100, the corpse will disintegrate permanently. Ooh. Fourteen days left. Not yet available. Not yet available. Coffins. Uh, what is this? Black Doctor. Light armor, weapon, sword. Inspiration power. Jailer, light armor. Oh, so I can craft one of those two guys. We need all these materials. Ten pieces of plus. Hmm. Do I have ten? Oh yeah, we actually have pieces of plus. Uh, clean construction, decay protection, linger experience, delicate support. Uh, okay, let's get this guy. We don't have plus. Uh. Okay. Constructing. Oh, let's get both of them. Manage corpses. Applying a preservative can reduce the can reduce the increase in decay after the end of each turn run. The preservative can be applied multiple times, but loses half its potency each time. Okay. Decay resistance plus 16. Okay. You need to take at least one corpse in a run and three at most. Ah, oh, what else is here? I guess we make weapons. That altar, we cannot do anything with that. Corpse display. Okay. I guess the battles we did before were the the tutorial. Now we're gonna go for a normal run. Okay, let's go. Now select or area uh, opponent those are the opponents we can find equipment resources and event okay Consumers all crystal perform. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. So, side nave, area level, level 1, decay plus 20. Okay, those are the opponents. So, can I choose them? Or we just check the opponents that there are on the area? This is the item, I guess. When decay doesn't exceed 30%, abnormal status minus 37. Yeah, sorry, there are so many mechanics in this game, there is barely any tutorial. Okay, so this is the item we can find here, I guess. These are the items that drop. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, we used an eyeball here so we can know what uh, enemies to fight.
Okay, let's go here on the first area. Hmm. Use the pickaxe to dig the soul crystal, gold from the crystal tear. Consume soul crystals. Okay. Uh, ah, let's go like that. And embark. Motherfucker. I really like this guy. So fast. When the imbalance value is full, the corpse will be stunned. Damage taken will be increased when stunned. Oh, you motherfucker! Ah, go, go, go! Ah, we took a lot of damage. Medium speed. Okay, let's get this one. This is way better. Uh, get everything. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Motherfucker, do your worst. You bastard. The fighting is not bad. It takes some time to get used to it. It feels like an old, uh, old school fighting game. Quick start, short distance. Multiple attacks. Mm. Okay, let's get this one. Next room. Doctor, sorry, Black Doctor. He's like a ninja. He's not a black, black Doctor. Multiple attacks.
Mm. Okay, let's get this ability. Now, can I check my bodies? I think I'm gonna use this guy now. I don't want to lose the Black Doctor. Uh... Okay, let's go. Oh, what is this? Check. Uh, select the corpse to store it. It's 40% of the experience in the inheritance bottle, but can the decay of this corpse will be increased to 100 immediately. The experience stored in this current bottle is zero. Oh. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I go back or you always go forward yeah we cannot go back no item will be lost when using portal or then do the ossuary now uh, let's keep going i want to explore more go back And break his posture. Fuck you. Okay, well, at least Black like, Doctors have less HP. Medium speed, slow start. Yeah, let's get that one. Lack of space. Hmm. Hmm. And night sword. Olax. I guess we're full on uh, items now. Okay, use a key. And uh, when the gate doesn't exceed 30%, abnormal status. Okay. And now we get, we'll have to leave something here. Um. Oh, damn. Can I? Oh, yeah, either. I just want to leave one. Uh. Okay, get this item. Go that. Can I recast equipment? Hmm. Now, what else can we remove? Uh, can I remove just one point of less? I also thought there was one more line of inventory space, but I guess, yeah, we only have two. Uh, let's see. Yeah, go like that. Okay, we can still check this thing. 
Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. That was the treasure on the end of the dungeon, I guess. Uh, kill enemies to gain experience and level up. The higher the level, the more items you can equip. Okay. And the corpse level will also influence the start, uh, start level of a new attack action. Okay, we brought some items back. Skeleton table. Okay, I guess we can make a new corpse. Skeletons are necessary materials for construction for constructing corpses, but a skeleton cannot be obtained directly. Build a skeleton with five pieces of bones. Uh Maximum depth seven. Oh. Grind bone to dust. Okay, we have a skeleton already. Okay, we have two skeletons here. Now, let's see what else can we make. Mm, can we choose to... Each skeleton has a number of abilities that can be activated by adding the corresponding material. The number of abilities that can be activated depends on the depth of the memories of bones. Only one ability can be activated at first. You can permanently increase the depth of memories of bones by throwing skulls into the bonfire. Okay. Lack of depth memories at the heart. Uh, increase the damage of this corpse by 20. Uh... Can we? Can we? We cannot do anything on that fire. Forging table. Uh, let's see. Heavy armor. Defense plus six. When DK doesn't exceed 30%, I'm normal status minus 35. If no preservative is applied, starting attack speed plus 14%. Okay, nice. Consume iron to change the equipment skill, but it will, uh, it will not change the equipment quality. More iron will be consumed each time you recast the equipment. Melt the equipment to get iron. Strengthen with gold. Now I don't want to change it. Okay, what do I have here? Not available. Not available in the demo. Okay. I guess we can go for another run. By the way, can I, I fix these things somehow? Hmm. When bone injury reaches level 4, the corpse takes 30% additional damage when hit. When bone injury reaches the highest level 7, there is a 25% probability that the corpse will be defeated when hit. Bone dust is used to repair bone injury. However, repairing takes time. A corpse under repair cannot leave the ossuary. 
No injury, injury level 1. Corpses in the coffin will regain 50% HP per day. You can also add flesh directly. Each piece of flesh restores 25% immediately. Equipment brings extra defense and each equipment is blessed with one skill. Aha. Uh -huh. When a corpse is constructed, it will get three actions. Okay. Heavy armor only, so this guy can we use that. Uh, now let's see, uh, fill this thing. Okay, I'm not gonna let him uh, rest for now. Mm. Okay, I think I'm gonna use those three. Now let's go, let's explore more. Mm. Yeah, let's see if the corpse level is lower than the area level. Starting attack speed plus 19. Mm. Okay, let's go in another area, sorry. Mm, level 2. So, okay, there is plenty of armor on this one and the resources. Okay, let's go. Now the corpse is applied with preservatives. Okay. Let me apply some then. Let's go. Uh, and a bar. Oh, yeah, this is a rather unique game for sure. The presentation, the gameplay. Now, what else can we find here? When torn would also cause place damage. Yeah, Witch Doctor is a. Uh, sorry, again, Black Doctor is uh, amazing against these guys because of my attack speed. Place damage, balance damage, soul crystal one. Oh, it's corroded, but it's level two. Okay. What was that? Yeah, that's the corpse we just killed. Oh, an Iron Maiden. Can recover 6% of a corpse, but its bone injury increased by level 1. Okay, current bone injury cannot exceed level 6. The HP recovered from Maiden will be lost after you return to the ossuary. Huh. Okay, that's a weird way to get a health pack.
you motherfucker. There is a chance to wake up directly after being stunned. This fucker. Come on, you bastard. God, we lost the opportunity there. Come on. What the fuck is this guy? Also, it's so weird. Uh, I couldn't. I wasn't sure how which attacks I can parry and which I should dodge. I wasn't sure what to do against this guy. What the hell? Also, of course, we cannot go back. Yeah, to use the maiden. How oh, this motherfucker was tough. Yeah, let's get this guy. is so fucking tough on this uh, dungeon the experience gained during this run will be half and the next amount of decay will increase uh, yeah that was bad 12 days left till uh, everything goes to hell hmm I guess now we need some new corpse for this one for the next run yeah, this is a really, really unique game, that's for sure. Hmm. Now, what can we do here? Uh, we still have the items. Yeah, we barely have any place to... Yeah. To heal those guys up. Can we make any new corpses? No! Oh my god, that dismantled that skeleton. Fuck you.
And yeah, uh, of course we don't have a... Uh... Yeah, we don't have less for these guys. Yeah, everyone has bone injury. Now, what can we do here? Now, this game is really, really, really tough. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna leave this guy back. Get these two guys only. Now, can we go on a lower level dungeon? Oh, by the way, before we do that. Let me change the equipment. Okay, use this equipment on this guy. Yeah, I don't think we're ready for the level 2 areas there. Okay, let's go. Mm. Go. Let's see if we can finish one run. Okay, new background. The opponents in the library will perform various magic attacks. Oh, wow, great. Usual magic attack cannot be parried. You need to dodge, roll, or retreat to a safe areas to deal with different types of magic attacks. Most equipment that provides defense is ineffective against magic attacks. Only necklaces and rings can provide magic defense, which can reduce the damage taken from magic attacks. Okay, by the way, yeah, this has a pretty decent... Yeah, this one has more magic attack than the other guy we had. Okay, I'll have to say the presentation of the game is... Pretty interesting. I like the background, so the whole style. Yeah, it's really grim and... Oh, look at that. When a corpse's level is lower than or equal to 2, balance damage plus 15. Oh, yeah. Especially here in the library, the backgrounds are really good. Oh, more chests. Okay, plenty of treasures so far. Get this fucker. Ah. Come on, stun lock this fucker. Successful attacks or perfect party can increase combos. Combos will help you deal extra damage. Rolling will clear the combo count. Nice. Oh, that was close. Hmm. Grab everything. We'll really need items. Oh my god. All the cobots are pretty tough in this game. And the controls are a bit weird. The timing is a bit weird too. I think I'm gonna return it back. Yeah. Let's not risk this. Oh. Ariels, as we have levels, the higher the level, the more powerful the opponents will be, 
and the more the decay increases. At the same time, you will get more and better items as well. When the corpse level exceeds the area level, the corpse will not be able to gain experience anymore. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Can we do anything here? Oh my god, why there is lack of bones? I guess we can only craft this guy. Okay, now let's see. Let's manage my corpse here. Uh, preparing. They have injuries too. Filling. Uh, starting attack speed fourteen percent. Okay, so this guy has only one. Oh, this guy has two slots. Oh yeah, he's level three, so he has two slots for uh, equipment. Uh, yeah, we don't have any more flesh. Level three, level one. Uh, I guess, yeah, we cannot go there. Those things are not available on the demo. Mm. Hero, Marshall. Okay, this is like a boss fight. Got so we only have this guy to fight here. Hmm. Prison was really annoying. Well, fuck it. Let's go here. See what happens. And let's see if we can actually finish this. Oh my god, he's cheating! What the fuck was that? stuff <laughs> okay and yeah 
one of the corpses is decayed. Okay. Thanks for nothing, I guess. Damn. So now we have to go back on a easy stage, craft, uh, craft items. Yeah. See, now the first level one is available. Prison level one is available too. So we have to go back, uh, grind some materials, create some nice corpses, and then go back and uh, try to go in uh, higher level areas. Damn, this guy is really tough, but also he drops rare items. And look, look at that. Look how many resources there are on his stage. Now, there are some other things that we cannot activate now. We have Demon Soul Altar. This thing, I'm not sure what is this. This is Chalice or something. Yeah, so there are still more gameplay elements that we haven't uncovered on the demo. Hmm. Well, let's see. This is a really interesting game. I'll give them that. Now, that was the demo of uh, Corpse Keeper. This is a really interesting dark fantasy action RPG with roguelite elements as you saw there. Now, the combat on this game is like you are playing a fighting game. You have to block, parry and dodge enemy attacks and use your your own attacks on the correct uh, time. I didn't even figure exactly how I can use all my combos. There are some movements, some moves you can unlock and use. But we only have one attack button, so I guess everything is uh, down to timing. Dodge the correct time, parry the correct time, and then start your move. Because, and then also each move has a different uh, starting uh, period. Uh, some moves are fast, like for example, I really like the the Black Doctor. All his attacks were fast, and you can easily go for a fast combo. And as you saw there, the more you hit an enemy and you keep attacking, you raise your combo counter, and you do more damage. That damage goes down whenever you dodge or you roll. And uh, if you keep hitting an enemy, he loses his uh, balance. And when you all the balance is off, you can uh, you have some free hits against him. Now, other than that, as you saw, there is a lot of uh, management uh, elements on the game. You have to manage your corpses, use the correct gear, use presentatives. To, to help your corpses stay fresh for more exploration. Yeah, this is like a roguelite fighting game with uh, RPG elements and a really unique presentation. Yeah, the graphics has this old school retro aesthetic. It's like you're playing an old uh, PlayStation 1 era game. The music is decent and yeah, this has some potential, but it's really unique and weird. Uh, this might uh, turn some people off. But still, if you like what you saw here, go check the game out. This game is out on uh, on Steam and on Epic Store. And I think it will be released on uh, consoles on later date. So yeah, you have some options if you want to play this game. Or download the demo and give it a try. That was the demo of uh, Corpse Keeper. I hope you like it.